on this episode of Code Two Zero. It sounds like those three individuals GTA'd him at gunpoint, which is kind of nuts. All right, we're just arriving here at a structure fire. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, rubbish at the bottom of the elevator shaft and it's going up the entire building. Oh my goodness. Look at this. No way. All right, um, we're on an interesting call. Guy was driving northbound, and I've heard, by the way, I heard RS7 and now RS5. I'm not sure what it is. Sheriffs are driving by. They don't know what's going on. Um, we're here in a uh, parking lot just north of our victim's location. I don't know if you can see him from here. He's across the street at the bus stop. Uh, probably can't see him. He's wearing all black. Um, the gentleman in front of us was traveling. We're actually here before CHP uh, has arrived. He was traveling northbound 170, approaching Magnolia, when uh, an unknown vehicle crashed into him intentionally. He didn't know it at the time, obviously. Vehicle crashed into him intentionally. Three males exited the vehicle, all three of them armed with handguns. They then took, I guess he pulled over to try and, you know, exchange information um, like a normal person. And it sounds like those three individuals uh, GTA'd him at gunpoint, which is kind of nuts. I haven't heard of anything going down like that in a long time. Um, really scary situation. We have CHP en route to the location. Once CHP gets here, we'll go out and I'll, uh, I'll pull up and, and get some, we'll get some shots of the story. But not super visual because we don't have the car uh, clearly that was taken, but really scary situation for this guy or anybody driving on the freeways. If that becomes, you know, a thing and they start doing that uh, on the regular, that's really scary because that's indiscriminate, right? They look at a car, they go, I like that car, crash into him on the freeway, just, you know, a little fender bender, whatever. They pull off to the shoulder, expecting to exchange information and they're met with the barrel of a gun. Um, really scary stuff. This guy, I lost him. Where'd he go? He disappeared. I just had eyes on him and he disappeared. Oh, he's at the bus stop still. Okay. Um, really scary situation because that's pretty indiscriminate. And depending on what type of car you're driving, in this case, they're saying it's an RS5 or an RS7. I don't know if those, let's see if there is an RS5. They might have, they might have heard that wrong. No, it's an RS5. It's one of the one of the two. I've heard RS7 twice, and then that crime broadcast they said RS5. So, one of them one of them has it wrong. Uh, cars valued at about 100. And, uh, a current year model is valued at about 120 thousand. So with taxes and everything, especially here in California, you're looking at 100 and probably 150 thousand plus dollar car. Not inexpensive, but also not the kind of car you would think they would be doing that to. You think like you know a Porsche or. Um, something a little more expensive, but at the same time, um, might be just a crime of uh, opportunity where they saw him and there was, you know, not a lot of cars around and they just doinked him and decided, hey, now's our time to shine. But yeah, really scary situation. Again, we're still waiting on CHP. Our victim is in the park. Oh, yep, here it is again. 
on the freeway. CHP is also on route. It's good to turn to 555 Seminary 1547. Okay, not a lot of information there. They did assign it to a North Hollywood unit, code 3. So we're probably going to get LAPD and CHP responding to this call, which, great, that's good. Um, but our suspects and our victim's vehicle are long gone at this point. Once they show up, uh, we'll jump out and we will uh, get some more footage. But the big focus you can see by my outfit uh, is the rain tonight. So we're waiting on that to come in. We have this huge cell coming in right now. It's still a little ways out from us. Let me try and get, um, so here's our, here's where we're working right now. This is our incident. And then let's come back over here. Yeah, you can see it's just avoiding us here. Uh, Gabe is getting hit out in Ventura. Um, so we'll take a look at that. You know, while we're, uh, how about that? Let's, uh, oops, there we go. Um, we're waiting for our incident. Let's do this. Gabe, I'm sure, is getting hit. I'm seeing green and a couple pockets of yellow heading toward Gabriel. Uh, Alex, if you would, let's uh, let's go take a look at the rain that Gabe, I'm sure, is filming. I'm hoping is filming out in Ventura. Let's take a look at that, and then we'll come back here and we'll follow up with some of the scene footage of these guys uh, talking with our victim, and then we'll uh, we'll get out. But yeah, let's uh, let's go over to Ventura, take a look at Gabe's rain, which is again why we're all dressed up crazy tonight. All right, so LAPD is here with CHP. They've got their uh, they, they've got their rain pants on, just like us. I like those though, the high vis ones. Those are cool. I might have to upgrade my pants. No. Yeah. The yellow is cool. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead of them, and then we're gonna film. We're gonna film back. We'll probably go in the park a little bit. I just don't want to, I don't want to get in this guy's, uh, we don't want to show him too clearly, we just want to tell the story. Alrighty. to have them but man what a I need to design a, a rain cover that's what I should do design a rain cover that doesn't suck they're either like they're either really crappy or really expensive or sometimes both sometimes they're crappy and expensive which is and we're talking and we're not talking cheap like the the Porta brace rain cover what like 400 bucks come on Come on, there's no way. All right, our, oh, hang on. Okay. Our, 
victim here is talking with CHP. LAPD is still here, but it looks like they're about to leave. I'm assuming they're going to call the watch commander and find out whether or not it's their handle. Because this occurred on the freeway, um, I, my opinion is that it's 90% chance of being an LAPD handle. See, uh, sorry, correction. 90% chance of it being a CHP handle. If anything, LAP is going to take information and they're going to do uh, kind of a, a BOL um, crime broadcast on this incident, but I don't think they're going to actually handle the report. I think it's going to be CHP because it did occur on the northbound 170, which is CHP's jurisdiction. PD just took off. Um, again, they're probably going to do a, a rebroadcast of what we know so far. This poor guy driving northbound 170. Um, you know, there's really not a lot. There's not a lot you can do with that outside of having your CCW and getting into a gun battle on the freeway with these uh, wackos. Um, but he did the right thing, considering I'm, I'm assuming he wasn't armed. He said, "Hey, take it. My life's not worth uh, a car, which it never is." But for him to have to walk off the freeway, I mean, think about that. They, they took his car, put guns in his face, put guns in his face, then took his car. I don't want to go out of order. Um, and he pulled over to try and exchange information and do the right thing. Then he has to walk down the freeway off the off-ramp here at MAG. I mean, it's really a uh, pretty, pretty heinous situation. And again, like I said earlier, it's indiscriminate, uh, which is really scary. Because if they decide they want your car right now, here you go. You're in that situation. Um, Pretty scary stuff, but he was able to call, get help here. Doesn't look like he's injured, which is great. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope we don't start seeing these happening. I hope this is just a, an isolated, isolated incident. We'll leave it with this, and then we are gonna be on to the next one, hopefully uh, before the rain starts. Just arriving here at a structure fire on Alexandra. We have reports of. Hang on. We have reports of a fire and people uh, people trapped. I can't hear the damn radios. Because we're in a bad spot. We're saying there's reports of people trapped. Nothing showing. That's weird. saying nothing showing but also reports of somebody trapped multiple calls too let's switch over to the tack all right we'll see it's stinky it's stinky out here all right they've already got water hooked up but again there's no uh we'll see we'll see
in multiple calls and uh, reports of someone trapped right now, but I'm not seeing it. Let's move off to the side here. And Tay, watch out for the uh, yeah. giant hole here. drop bags off of the fire escape. What's that? Are they strapped into that ladder? Up there? Yeah. No, no, look, when they get off the top, here I'll show you. You'll see when they get up to the top, no, they're not strapped in and they're just, they're just climbing the ladder. up there, huh? What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six stories? If I'm counting that right. They did a drop bag. So they send the bag down. It's got a, uh, a rope on it. And that bag with that rope, they can drop that down and you can see now they're pulling the, they're pulling the hose up to the uh, fifth floor like they said. We've got a second ladder going up and I do see smoke sure what he said. <laughs> yep, light smoke in the fifth floor hallway from the elevator shaft. I'm not hearing anybody trapped. Um, there is smoke on the, if you look at the very top where that light is on the ladder, you can definitely see smoke there. I'm having a really hard time understanding this guy. smoke in an elevator shaft and uh, light smoke from the uh, from the attic vents I, I'm not hearing um, I'm not hearing anybody trapped or anything like that so let's go down to the corner we'll get a, a better perspective on it you guys, like, oh. for you? yes ma'am cool. uh, all the channels all right. yep. Then that sounds like they have a unit going on the fifth floor.
Okay. So nobody's, they're checking right now on the entrapment, but there's no, um, there's no confirmation right now. Let's go to the corner and we'll listen from there. You can definitely smell it. There's definitely a smell in the air, but, um, and you can see the smoke on the roof. So it's venting out the uh, the roof vents like they were talking about. But I'm not, uh, I'm not hearing any confirmation of a person's trapped, no injuries, nothing like that. And no active flame in any of the units. See what IC has to say, and then we'll get out of here. All right, light smoke in the attic. We're gonna click. Uh, it's going to be uh, rubbish at the bottom of the elevator shaft and it's going up the entire building. That's, that sounds like it's going to be what we've got. All right, we're clear. All right. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Um, they're saying rubbish in the elevator shaft. No confirmation of anybody trapped. They're still gonna evacuate, but I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody trapped, we're good. You see the smoke, Tay? See on the, the elevator shaft on the top up there? Well, uh, it sounded uh, it sounded much more interesting than what it ended up being, and uh, luckily everybody's out. I don't know why uh, I'm having a hard time with uh, with the comms there, but it, it worked fine on the handheld. So it is what it is. We are clear out of where are we specifically? Uh, Koreatown? I think it was K-Town, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Let's get ourselves out of here and we'll be on to the next one. We just cleared off the fire. We were actually heading back up um, to cover some more, some more wet stuff. Wet stuff? Wet stuff? Some wet stuff coming out of the sky. Oh, great uh, shot right here. Very cool. 
Um, so yeah, we were heading toward uh, heading toward the valley, and we ended up canceling and turning around at ooh, at Vermont, and we're now downtown. Uh, we're now downtown because there's a report of a hundred chickens in the roadway. Your PR is linked to me. They're walking toward you. There's a truck that is that is having. Okay, so they're saying that there's a big rig that has had, I guess, some type of issue, I'm assuming with a door, um, but they're saying that there's a hundred chickens that have gotten loose at 4th and Broadway. A hundred chickens. Um, we're at 4th and Broadway, and I don't see any chickens. You see chickens? No. Oh, I'm kind of bummed out now. Yeah, they said Fourth and Broadway. A hundred chickens in the roadway. We're at Fourth and Broadway. We just went by there, and I didn't see any chickens, unless they're running in a certain direction. Where are the chickens? I want to see. I want to see a hundred chickens <laughs> running in the roadway. Mm, I would feel like that would be more of like a uh, like past Alameda type situation. Yeah, that's what I would think. Let's go down. Let's go down Broadway a little further and see. See what we got. It's a traffic hazard call. They have a unit assigned. Code two. Hmm. Outside fire. You'd think it would be the result of a traffic collision or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, 4th and Broadway seems too close into downtown. I would think 4th and something else, maybe. I heard Broadway. Did you hear Broadway? Mm -hmm. I swear I heard Broadway. All right, well, let's take 4th down. Keep looking. Okay. Keep looking around, see if we can find... See if we can find 100 chickens. Yeah, you would think it would be further. Mm -hmm. It's in Central. It was definitely a Central call. Uh, where would, what would be another B Street? Uh oh. Big Ray catching fire on the West 10. I'd rather find the chickens. I want. I want a shot of a hundred chickens in downtown. That's what I want. Where are, where are the chimkins? Where are they? <laughs> Sammy, wants, Sammy wants a couple chimkins. You would think it would be in this kind of area, more of like an industrial thing. If they're not, if we get to the bridge and they're not there, then we're gonna be UTL on our on our chicken situation. Uh, and we have a large vehicle fire. A big rig fire. Florence and Pacific, maybe? No. No. Oh. Solo big rig, debris in lane, semi on fire. Catching on fire in the cab area. 60 west at the 10 west. Uh, where are the chickens, guys? Where are they? I I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's a BS uh, it's a BS call or or it's legitimate. There were chickens running amok, but the guy uh, who has the truck is a professional chicken wrangler. And he was able to, uh, you know, catch, catch yeah, take, yeah. Well, 
What if he, what if they're like trained? Like they're really I'm trying to catch a chicken. No, but they but Okay, but hang on. What if they're like a disciplined, you know, they're trained chickens and he has like a little whistle and he just blows a whistle and they just like get back in the truck. I don't think they would take the time to train a chicken that we eat. You don't know Okay, they could be his pets. You don't know. On a semi truck? Yeah, he's got a lot of them. If it's like for the circus, how do you, you know, they carried uh, their animals on trains and big rigs and all that, and they were they were trained. I bet don't I bet they're mm, I don't know. I heard Fourth and Broadway. So let's go back to Broadway, and let's cruise uh, let's cruise Broadway up and down. But I can't imagine. I can't. Who's that? Gabe. I want to see the chickens. And if, again, if they're trained and he blew a whistle and they just got, they went up the ramp and got back in the truck, then, you know, we missed it. All right, we're gonna look for the chickens and we'll pick back up when we find the chickens. If we find the chickens. If we don't find them, we'll let you know either way. Very sad that they weren't where we thought they were. All right, um, we're, oh, oh, there's the unit. Okay, it's got, <laughs> that's gotta be, that's got, ah, geez. How bad is the, is the road right there? Like, it can't get any worse. Let me ask, well, I was gonna ask him if they're going to the chicken call, but I think, I think they're going to the chicken call. I think that's our unit. Um, we thought it was 4th and, and Broadway. I don't think it is, because we're looking everywhere and we're not seeing anything. I think it's 4th and Beaudry. I think it's on Beaudry. No, we have nothing further So we're gonna follow, I think these guys are going there. They're, they're driving like they've got a purpose. It's not code three, but there was a report of an assault occurring at the location where the chickens, uh, where the chicken derailment has occurred. I, well, I, I don't know what to call it, right? I'm gonna say derailment. It's gotta be Beaudry. Chicken fry. Yeah. Um, we're gonna, oh, in before the lock. Oh, no, where are you going? Ah, uh, I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm very concerned here. Where are the chickens? Hey. Where are the chickens? This is very upsetting. Well, here's 4th and Beaudry. Is it on the cat? No. Is this a one way? Yeah. Where are the chickens? <sighs> I'm very uh, concerned here that I'm not seeing my chickens. Where? Where are my chickens? That's all I care about right now. Hmm. I don't hear, you think you'd hear them, right? You'd hear them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that the noise they make? <laughs> well, Central goes over to Bixel. So let's try, let's try Bixel. But, yeah, I, I don't know, let's, it's definitely fourth. They did, I did hear fourth. Yes, I heard fourth as well. We have a tractor trailer, uh, well involved. Ooh, tractor trailer, well involved. All right, we are not going to that. Buster engine 25 tractor trailer, well involved. I don't care about a big rig on fire <laughs> when there's chimkins a loose in the city here. Trash was chicken. No. Why don't we just go up and down fourth? That's well we went all the way to the other side of the division, so if we go here and then take it to Broadway, then yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. A hundred chickens in the street? Okay, so fourth doesn't go over here. Fourth like so here's the split. Here's literally this is this is where fourth begins. All right. All right. This is the beginning of Fourth Street. Would you like us to create an incident? Hmm. Metro 
I don't see any. We went. We took the low side last time, right? Let's take the high. Let's take the high side. But they both go back onto fourth. We would hear them though, right? A hundred chickens are not going to be sitting there quiet, like unless, unless, like I said, they're trained, highly trained roosters and chickens. Then we have a problem because then they're going to be quiet, right? We, you wouldn't hear them. What? If they're trained, they're not just like they're not going to be, you know, yelling and being loud. They're going to be, they're going to be quiet, right? What chickens have you been hanging around? <laughs> Can I ask? Because <laughs> I want to meet those chickens. I, you don't think they're going to be quiet? No. No. All right. If we don't see them back at, let's go. Let's go down broad, uh, Broadway then. Let's do that. Let's go up Broadway and then down Broadway. I'm not just going to let go a hundred chickens in the roadway. That's like absolutely absurd. Guy on a motorcycle down there on lower ground. I'm very disappointed that we have not found all right, next one is Broadway. No one's, everyone's looking pretty normal. Let's try Broadway. I don't know, Tay, I think it's BS. I think it's BS. I think someone made it up. Got everybody all excited. You were going to take him home? One. Just one chicken? Sammy would love that. She would. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, I'm going to check a couple of more sources and then we'll come back up and see see if we find the chickens. But as of right now, it's looking a little bleak in the chicken department. A little beak in the chicken department? A little beak in the chicken department? You missed that one. That's pretty good. I I missed, but you caught it, so that's good. All right, we'll come we'll come back up if we find uh if we find the poultry. Corrected location of Ord and Broadway. I'm going to be en route to what I'm hoping is the chickens. LAPD's en route. There's also an assault call at the location as well. The owner of the chickens was assaulted. Assault. The chickens are going to be assaulted later. <sighs> okay, again, we don't know what kind, like, what the deal is with the chickens. We don't know if they are, you know, they're, they're meat pets. Meat they're what? They're white meat birds. White meat birds. Yes. They're, they're very freaky looking. If you've ever seen them. No, but we're going to be like in it with the chimkins here. I'm very excited. The chimkins. We're being a crazy chicken. <laughs> a boy loco. Oh, speaking of El Pollo Loco, look, maybe this is where they were headed. You know, funny enough, that door right there, I had a car actually crash into that and catch on fire. I have, I, ha I don't know if I can find it in the archive somewhere, but I do have that footage of a crash there. I think they ended up surviving, but it was a, it was a pretty, uh, pretty horrific uh, crash into that El Pollo Loco. Funny enough, we're headed to, oh, okay, unit in front of us. That might be, that might be our unit. Now, I'm a little bit upset about the call now, um, just because one additional engine company for what? Have them direct their resource to, uh, 
the top of Indiana, then set up a water supply down on the freeway. Have that meet me on 13. Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah, for the for the big rig. They've got county and city. Yeah, this is our unit. He's taking reds to get up here. Oh, I'm excited. And again, it wasn't 4th and Broadway. It was 4th and Ord, which I don't know how I heard Broadway. But I swear it. Did you hear Broadway? No? I heard Broadway. Yeah, you said Broadway, and I was like, mm. 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 All right, and Tay, you are the... You are the chicken expert, right? Bobby. I suppose. Well, compared to me, I, spend I you a lot know. Of time around chickens. Okay. Yeah, because you're at the, the hor with the horses, and uh, I assume there's chickens there. Twenty-one, twenty-one. Are you still close to the street? There's what? There's a lot. There's a lot of chickens. Okay. So I'm going to default to you for any okay. any information okay. relating to I can try. the chicken situation. Fair. Oh wait, we're heading into Chinatown. <gasps> we're heading into Chinatown. So they're. Can I get a five? We will need a hard closure. They're going. They're going to the west. Westbound ten. Northbound five to the westbound ten. All right, and they're asking for a hard closure for that big rig. Uh, the big rig fire. Is it fatal? No, I don't think it's fatal. But the it's a big rig on fire, and uh, they're closing the trans road, which. You know, I'm far more concerned with the chickens right now. That's all right. They should be here. Oh my goodness! Look at this. There's a whole bunch of. All right, where are the little critters? Are they trying to grab them all? Yep, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I am so excited that this is like real. No freaking way is this real. They're so. Do we have to help? You can help if you want. <gasps> look at look look look. look, look, look. No freaking way. Four v five code six with the chickens. No freaking way. And then people are getting assaulted apparently. I am so excited. <laughs> this is unbelievably exciting. Come on. No freaking way. Look at how many chickens. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> You're just an Uber driver? Yeah. You're helping? That's great. Yeah, just to help. That's great.
Well, you gonna grab a few? You wanna help them? I kinda wanna just like pick them up, you know, nice, but. All right. You can't hold the camera at the same time? Well, give me the, give me the camera, and then you wrangle a few chickens and help these guys out. Here, Tay's gonna grab a few chickens. Let's, I wanna see this. Come on. You said, you said you're the chicken expert. I've never said that. You said Well, you're an expert compared to me. Here, grab the one coming toward me. Grab that one. This one right here. Hi. Hi, little buddy. Nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> this guy's got it down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Hey, watch, watch. Oh, careful. Careful. Oh, there we go. Tay, you got yourself a little friend. I'm using two hands, so I doubt it's in focus, but that's... <laughs> Are you happy? You got yourself a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't know, I think, I think over at the truck. Here, let's go across the street, come on. Let's go across. Hopefully these cars slow down. They're, they're good at cat, oh, look at this. I don't know if I'm in focus, hang on. I gotta put, uh, I'm running out of hands here guys, hang on. All right, here, let me, let me get you in. Oh, <laughs> careful, careful, Guy, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. His head is like locked on the lens. Look at that. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, Tay's putting the chickens back. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is this is too much. All right, give him the chicken. Hand him the chicken. This is too much. All righty. No freaking way. <laughs> we need a backup area to the supervisor. Yeah, We've got a bunch of chickens. <laughs> I, you know, it might, uh, the cars are flying through really fast. Yeah. Yeah. This is nuts. What What actually happened though? Did they, uh, did they fall off the truck or? Oh uh, yeah, I guess they fell off. Oh, you got one. Oh my God. I got one. No way. This is funny. Is this, is this what you think you were doing tonight? No, definitely not. No, not in Central. <laughs> What's the, actually, special nothing surprises us anymore. Rustling trans against the rustling chicken. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, careful, careful. Careful. Oh, I think one got hit. Oh, Is that, or is it trash? Oh, it's just trash. That's great. <laughs> this is great. Uh, it's a nice... Are you going to get one? No, I'm just going to move on the camera. Move on the if he doesn't get one, he's never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> so what, what is it? They just fell off the truck? That's yeah, it? Yeah, he said one of his little crates just fell and then they uh, went everywhere. Why was, why are they, uh, there was an assault uh, thing though too, right? Because they, they hit the crate or? They were trying to help and then the dude didn't want, hit, want the help. Oh. So they were, you know. Oh, well, you yeah. kind of, you'd think you'd want help with a hundred chickens running around. Yeah. Yeah, he did not. He's just pissed off that it fell off the yeah. truck and... Yeah. yeah, he was just trying to clean it up and just... Yeah, well, now it's on the news, so... 
<laughs> it's, the shots I'm getting are just too funny. This is like... What's the joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? This is too good. This is too much with the chickens. <laughs> There's a bunch? Oh, they're inside the, the shop. Oh no. to you. Oh, got him. Got him. Nice. Nice. He did great. He did great. You said there's more down there? Yeah, inside the gate. Oh, in the gate. Well, did they get the ones out of here? No, they tried to, they tried to put all of them out. Oh, really? Yeah. They don't want to come out? No. <laughs> oh, poor little thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I think I think they were loading or unloading. I'm not sure which, but you can see there's there's a ton of them here. This girl's down the street trying to catch a few. Yeah, I tried to load them up and then the thing fell over and boom. Ah. Uh. So this is, this is, uh, oh, it's a, yeah, Tay, you're right. Those are the white ones you were talking about, but the ones, the ones we have here are the little brown guys. Uh, that just about made my night with the chickens. You were right though. They were going to the uh, the slaughterhouse here. But uh, wow. I don't want to eat chicken anymore. No? Oh, I feel really bad. You feel bad for the little guys? They're adorable though. They're really cute. They're like really, really cute. I know, I feel bad. I think, I think we're going to go vegetarian for a little while. Alrighty. Enough chicken insanity for one night. <laughs> I'm chickened out. Let's get on to the next one.